I have Distant Horizons and Irish Shaders inside of Minecraft right now, and I'm going to show you how you can do it for any version you want. What you want to do is go over to irishshaders.dev slash download, which I will link in the description together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, right here, you can just simply click on Download Universal Jar right there. Now as you can see, it's here in my downloads, and we can simply double click on that like so, and that's going to open it up. Here you can select the game version that you want, for example 1.20.4, which is currently the latest version. Then you can tick on use Distant Horizons beta version, as you can see it's not recommended, and I do also have to say it is unstable um don't use it for playing regular survival worlds which you know you care about and could risk losing um and basically you can just click on install over here if you also want to use it along with other mods you can select this plus fabric um, over there anyways if you click on install right there it's going to install as you can see it is now completed we can close this since this is just the installer you can delete it if you want to and we can start up the Minecraft launcher. Now as you can see right here we have um, automatically selected Iris Distant Horizons Beta for 1.20.4 which is exactly what we want um, so we can basically just click on play right there understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft and Minecraft will launch. So now here we are inside of Minecraft however it might not look like this for you right away. So to make it that happen, what you want to do is go into the pause menu, go over to options. Here in the top left, you will find the Distant Horizons mod. Make sure this is all set to true and you can change your render distance over here. I'll put this at 256, for example, and then we can click on done right there. Anyways, um, to enable the shaders, it might not be enabled automatically for you, so you want to go over to video settings, where here you'll enter the basically sodium menu, which gets installed along with iris, and you want to click on the shader packs over here. Um, you can add custom shader packs, but the Bliss shaders um, for Distant Horizon should be automatically there. You basically want to select on that and then click on apply, just like so. And what that's going to do is that is going to enable that for us. You can also enter the shader pack settings right here, where as you can see, you can change all the settings that you want. Um, I recommend looking up a separate tutorial on this because I'm not an expert. I know how it works. If you want a real good config, um, we'll find one elsewhere. Here you can also find some internal distant horizon settings, uh, as you can see. Anyways, basically that is that. We now have around 256 render distance with the distance horizons and using iris shaders. Now despite all that, I'm still running, as you can see, around 120 FPS pretty consistently. So that is definitely pretty cool. I recently did a video on a mod called NVIDIA, which easily doubled my FPS. It's really, really great. Um, I will link that in the description. I definitely recommend you to check it out. Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. If you do have any more questions, then make sure to leave those down in the comments. Remember to not be careful with this as it is unstable. Um, but for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.